The great Minnesota get-together has come to an end, and despite a significant drop in attendance, several thousand fairgoers took the time to share their thoughts and opinions with our annual legislative opinion poll. Here's a look at the results. Question 1. Should Minnesota legalize and regulate gambling on professional and collegiate sports? Sports betting is legal in more than two dozen states, including Iowa, South Dakota, and Illinois. Supporters say Minnesotans should have the freedom to bet on sporting events if they so choose, and that doing so could also bring in millions of dollars in new revenue to the state each year. Opponents worry new gambling opportunities will exploit consumers and those prone to addiction. Here's what poll takers thought. Question 2. Should K-12 students be required to wear masks in school during the upcoming school year? With the recent COVID resurgence, many school districts throughout the state and country have instituted mask requirements for students, many of whom are returning to classrooms this week. Public health officials say masks help curb the spread of the virus, and those who support face coverings say they will help protect students and teachers alike through the months ahead. Others say wearing a mask is an individual decision, one that children and parents should be allowed to make themselves. This is what poll takers thought. Question 3. Should law enforcement officers be prohibited from making traffic stops for minor equipment violations, such as a broken taillight or an expired license tab? Following the death of Dante Wright at the hands of a Brooklyn Park police officer last April, Representative Cedric Frazier sponsored a proposal that would prohibit law enforcement officers from making traffic stops for certain minor equipment violations, such as expired license tabs, which was reportedly one reason Wright was stopped. Supporters say this would prevent unnecessary interactions with law enforcement that can sometimes escalate into much larger problems, and current law disproportionately targets people of color. Opponents say the proposal would hamper authorities in ensuring public safety and argue there are better ways to prevent future tragedies, such as increased officer training. Question 4. Should the state ban the sale of flavored tobacco products, such as menthol cigarettes and some vaping products? Proponents say a ban would help reduce tobacco use among teenagers and in some communities of color that have been historically targeted with these products by tobacco companies. Others cite potential unintended consequences, such as an underground market for these products that would be unregulated, meaning anyone could buy them, and also result in a loss of tax revenue that now goes to help promote public health. Here is how survey takers weighed in. Question 5. Should the state implement automatic voter registration using information collected during transactions, such as getting a driver's license, rather than the current system where voters choose to register? Supporters believe the change would bring more eligible voters to the polls by taking the information collected during transactions with government agencies, such as getting a driver's license, to register Minnesotans eligible to vote. People would then have 20 days to decline the registration. Opponents of the opt-out proposal believe individuals should have the responsibility to register to vote. The new system is not needed, and it could cost money instead of saving it. Question 6. Should bars and restaurants be allowed to sell wine, beer, and mixed drinks to go? When COVID-19 forced bars and restaurants to become takeout-only establishments last year, one of the measures taken to help those businesses survive was permission to sell alcoholic beverages to go. Supporters believe this would benefit businesses by creating new opportunities for sales, while also giving consumers added choice and convenience. Opponents include several industry groups, such as independent liquor store owners, who argue the change would hurt their businesses. Question 7. Are you confident the state's election system is secure? Allegations of fraud and interference have followed in the wake of the last several national elections, and although there have been no instances of widespread voter fraud found in Minnesota, some lawmakers believe there is a need to enact further safeguards, such as requiring a valid photo identification in order to vote. Representative Glenn Grunhagen, a Republican from Glencoe, sponsors a proposal to, in part, require a photo ID to cast a ballot. His bill did not receive a hearing in the House in 2021, and opponents say it would make voting more difficult, discourage, and disqualify people who are eligible to vote from participating in elections. Question 8. Should a school voucher system be established whereby the state issues parents a voucher equal to the state's cost of educating a child for a year, and parents can then choose the school their child attends, whether public or private? Supporters say one of the best ways to close the state's achievement gap is to let parents choose which schools their children attend. A system of vouchers would allow families to enroll and pay for their kids to attend schools outside of the school districts where they live.
Opponents say such a system would only widen the achievement gap by funneling resources away from schools that most need them, while also privatizing the state's educational system. Question 9. Should people without proof of legal residence in the state be allowed to obtain a driver's license or identification card? House Majority Leader Ryan Winkler sponsors a driver's licenses for all proposal that would allow people to obtain a state driver's license or identification card without having to provide proof of legal residence in the state. While the proposal failed to become law, supporters say it could make Minnesota's roads safer by allowing undocumented immigrants to drive legally and obtain insurance and remove some fear they feel when behind the wheel, where a routine traffic stop could result in jail or deportation. On the other side of the coin, opponents argued that the proposal would grant undocumented immigrants special privileges and encourage illegal immigration. Question 10. Should Minnesota allow the recreational use of marijuana by persons age 21 and over? Supporters say a significant percentage of Minnesotans already regularly use marijuana, and the state should regulate that usage to ensure it is safe while also capitalizing on the millions of dollars of revenue a tax on marijuana sales would generate. Others see potential for abuse or a gateway to more harmful drugs. When the same question was asked in 2019, the split was 56 to 34 for the idea. Question number 11. Should schools be prohibited from suspending or expelling students from kindergarten through the third grade until all other disciplinary measures have been tried or there is an ongoing serious safety threat? Representative Ruth Richardson, a DFLer from Mendota Heights, says Minnesota has some of the worst racial disparities in the country when it comes to disciplinary practices in schools. And these inequities contribute to some of the worst achievement and opportunity gaps in the country. She sponsors a bill to help young learners have full access to the school supports and services they need to overcome their difficulties and be successful instead of simply removing them. But opponents say school districts should have the flexibility to determine their own disciplinary solutions and the proposal would tie their hands. Question 12. If a peacetime emergency lasts more than 30 days, should the legislature have the power to terminate any rule or order issued by the governor during the emergency? Seven special sessions took place in 2020, with members convening every 30 days as required by the state's constitution for the opportunity to vote to end the COVID-19 peacetime emergency declared by Governor Tim Walz. While the Senate voted several times to end the governor's powers, the House never took up the issue. Representative Steve Green, a Republican from Faustin, offered a proposal to modify the length of time a governor could declare an emergency and change the process that would allow an emergency to be extended. Opponents argued that governors must have the power to act quickly in response to future emergencies, and the current process serves as an adequate check on that power. Here's what our poll takers thought. Thank you for taking the Minnesota House of Representatives annual legislative opinion poll. We hope to see you again next year.